so I had a problem with my microphone on the original intro to this video, so I'm having to reshoot it now. Uh, I just don't think it was connected all the way or something. There was absolutely no sound to it, so it kind of sucks. But in this video, I am going to try out a new motor on my kayak, a gas motor. It's a 3.6, but it's really more like a two horse. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I'm just gonna take you along with me, show you my experience with this motor. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. So stay tuned. Hopefully this works. I hate using gas, I just like it's impossible to keep it from being messy. Just in case this thing dies or something, I'm gonna bring a paddle. So I'm not stranded. I really hope she just works the way she's supposed to. Got this thing for like 200 bucks on Amazon, so who knows. Come on. <laughs> Just wanting to. I mean, it's brand new, so I figured it was going to be a little tough.
broke in a little bit. starting to run good and then she's died which it might be just be because she ran out of gas but uh i tried to restart her and i'm gonna show you tried to restart her now the cord's stuck so i mean that's an easy fix but i mean come on first time i used it so this thing's probably a piece of junk um i mean i'm gonna try and fix it she was running good when she was running, but it took a while to get her started, and then eventually this happened, which they gave me a spare of these, so they must be having that problem. So I'll fix this, but then I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. A little irritating. That's why I didn't go far, because that would have sucked to have to paddle with the motor. You know, if I went out in the main river and went up a couple miles, that would have sucked. A little irritated, but I bought it for like 200 and some dollars on Amazon, so, I mean, whatever. Like I said, good thing I wasn't far away. Because it would have, I mean, you could feel the weight of the motor back here trying to paddle. Alright. So dumb. <laughs> so it blood all the gas out. No, it didn't, so it just got stuck. It'd be an easy fix. It's annoying though. Wonder if they knew that was gonna happen, which is why they sent me the spare. The spare might be made a little better or something. So obviously I'm a little bit upset that the pull string already broke. I mean it was kind of hard to get started, but it's a brand new motor. Never been used before, and it's cheap motor. But I'm definitely irritated that the pull string broke. They did send me a spare, which makes me think that they kind of knew this was gonna happen. It's an easy fix. I mean, it won't be hard at all to fix. Just remove a couple screws, install the new one. Like, it's not gonna be hard at all, but it's just it's just irritating. You know, you don't want anything new doing that. Um, but when it was actually going, once I got it going, and after I ran it for a while, and it stopped kind of hiccuping a little bit, it actually ran pretty good. And it was actually moving that kayak really, really good. No idea how fast I was going. Obviously wasn't flying, but it's probably about the fastest I've ever gone on a kayak. Um, I have used a Honda 2.3 before. Now this says a Hankai, Two point or Hankai 3.6 but it's really more of like a two horse and then the Honda 2.3 actually if you look it up if you convert the cc's to horsepower it's more of about a two horse too I feel like it was pushing me about the same as the Honda maybe a little bit slower but it felt about the same um, the Honda runs way smoother obviously but I mean if I can get that string fixed and everything and it doesn't do that again or if that's the biggest problem that the motor ever has I mean it was worth the buy like I said it was like 200 bucks I really just wanted to get one because Nobody really has ever done reviews on these things, and so that's why I wanted to buy it and just see how it goes. So, yeah, I'm going to get that fixed. I don't really know what, I don't know what to tell you guys yet. Is it worth buying? I don't know. You can get them on Amazon for like 200, 250 bucks. I don't know yet. I got to run it more. I got to see how it works after I put the new string in. I, I don't know. 
I'm kind of displeased with it. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because like I said, they did send me the spare pull string. So maybe there was like a recall and they just were lazy and put the other one in the box with it, expecting me to change it, which now obviously I'm gonna have to. But uh, we'll see how she does after that. Right now, I'm like 50-50 for it. Now, if this was like a thousand dollar motor, I'd be pissed. But like I said, only 200 bucks. So I'm kind of kind of 50-50 on it right now. But yeah, I got everything loaded up. I'm gonna head home, probably get some food. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. Well guys, I don't know what happened, but I was just taking another car and it retracted. So, I don't know. I might put it in a bucket of water and see what happens. See if she still starts.